Caution is out. Just as we were having a challenge for the lead with Nemechek and Friesen, multiple trucks getting together. That's Max Johnston down there in the bright orange 02. Ben Rhodes there to the right in the 27. That zero of Corbin Forrester involved as well. Max Johnston, the racer from Australia that has come over and running in his first ever Camping World Truck Series event. That 27 truck is done. I don't know how much damage is done to the 02. I think Rhodes might have run into the side of Johnston. Johnston was running inside the top 10 at the time. And there's Ben Rhodes. Can't get any, any rhythm going on on our races tonight. Guys are losing control of their trucks and causing some major pileups. See down on the bottom. Johnson goes around and Ben Rhodes just uh, committed and ran into the side of him. And I cannot stress how hard it is to slow these trucks down. That was a that was a big hit for you know the speeds that were going here and, and it was uh, also head on. So I don't I, I agree with you, Mike. I don't know that either one of those trucks are going to continue tonight. Yeah, I think Rhodes knows his night's over. A couple of tough weeks for the kid from Kentucky. NASCAR official, I'm sure, explaining to Ben that he needs to go to the medical center after being involved in that accident. Here's a replay of it. Ah. Proud to report that no operators were hurt when our camera lens were, was busted off of turn two there. Mm. Unfortunately, can't say the same for those two trucks. Max Johnston and Ben Rhodes. Johnson, the 23-year-old out of Sydney, Australia, just wanted to come over here, Kenny Wallace, and try out the dirt Eldora. Didn't go too well for him. You know, Mikey, I got to give my opinion on this. Um, the O2, of course, you know, Christopher Bell, a, a legend already at his young age. These drivers are just spinning out. The story is not the racetrack. The racetrack is in perfect shape. There's nothing wrong with the racetrack. These drivers are driving hard, Mikey, but they're going down on the corner. They're setting the truck sideways. If they think they're in a midget, you know, a sprint car, and uh, they're just driving really hard. Hermie, what do you have? The four truck of Christopher Bell back on pit road. I just spoke just br just spoke briefly with Rudy Fugel. The tire, obviously, the toe was knocked out. They did not replace any parts. They know they got bent parts, probably lower control arm, and possibly a spindle, ball joint, most everything else. But you can see them. Even though the right side is towed out, Rudy said they're going to work on the left side to try to get it closer to the right side because they don't have any more adjustment left on the right side. He's going to try to stay on the lead lap. They plan to try to do much more to it at the end of the next stage break when the laps do not count under caution. So big